Hey y'all, I'm coming to you from the closet. I think I <laughs> am very um through it. Okay. Hey y'all, I'm coming to you from the closet. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to see comments. So I am my name is Ashley Chauvin and I can see comments, thank God. Um, okay, so today I'm coming to you and I am going to be making a tumbler, an epoxy tumbler. And so, oh, that happened quick. Um, I told you seven minutes, not show me in time. So, yay. Um, I am going to be making a tumbler for you today. And it, I'm going to be doing it live for you so that you can, uh, okay, I'm just, I'm going to need to take a breath because I'm a little overwhelmed. So, because this is my first YouTube live, so, and there's a lot of things happening and it's taken me a little bit of time to, um, adjust to, um, the comments and to seeing where things are. So I haven't really seen where things are or, um, and I know I'm kind of keep looking like this, but it's just to kind of see where, where everything is. So just give me a second to adjust to everybody and then, um, I'll get with it. So I apologize if I'm kind of like, and then they fade out. Did you see that? All of a sudden things just fade out and then they come back. It's very odd. Okay. So today I'm going to be making a tumbler for you and showing you how to use epoxy and alcohol ink um, and also these cute little dinosaur um, molds and things um, with your leftover epoxy because they come out really cute. So I'm going to be showing you that because I always use too much epoxy apparently. So I have all the materials that you're going to need. So I'm going to run through it with you. I know that some of you have been here with me and have um, seen this in our group. If you would like, you can join our group. It's uh, Show Me Chauvin on Facebook. You can please send a request to join. Um, but I'm going to run through the steps of this for you so that you can see just how easy it is to make a um, tumbler using epoxy. Because I know a lot of people are afraid of using epoxy and need kind of like a little bit more of a step-by-step. -step. Uh, my comments went away. Okay, they came back. Sometimes they go away and they come back. So if I don't respond to you right away, please um, forgive me. They kind of are fading in and out, so it's weird. So sorry about that. If I don't respond to you right away, they just kind of go away magically on YouTube. All right, the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is a tumbler. I did learn the hard way that the best thing to do is to spray paint it white. Mine is spray painted white. It's actually spray painted white and glow in the dark white to kind of give it that after effect. So I'm hoping that that works. I haven't seen how my other one works yet. So um, we will see. But you're going to need your tumbler spray painted white. And you're also going to want to tape your lip. Now this tumbler, I actually taped the inside of the lip because I'm going to do all the way up to the top of the tumbler. Um, my other tumblers I've done too. Um, I've lipped it before, but this tumbler, I'm actually going to do the entire tumbler all the way up to the top. So you're going to want to tape it um, and you're going to just want to tape the inside of it so that it doesn't get on the inside of your cup. I use Promarine Epoxy. I will put a link in the comments after this video so that you can buy it. It is food grade safe. It is um, safe for you to use on food materials. So if you use Promarine Epoxy, they're fantastic. And if you use that link, um, part of the proceeds from that goes to a forever nursery that we're trying to get built from our group. So please um, don't hesitate to order from that link. And um, so you're going to need that. You're going to need a cup turner or a hand turner of some kind. Um, my cup turner is made by Mildred, um, which I'm very, very proud of. And, um, so you're going to need, you can either have a, uh, an electric one, hand turn, whatever, but you're going to need something to kind of turn your epoxy. You're going to need gloves because good Lord, if you don't have gloves and you have a hundred of your closest friends with you, they're going to scream at you 
a lot have gloves. So you're gonna need gloves and you're probably gonna need two or three pair um, for one cup if you don't have gloves. So make sure that you have some gloves on hand. You're gonna need these cute little dainty cups. Um, so you're gonna need some cups like this. Um, alcohol inks, you can either make them. I have a video on my channel on how to make them from Sharpies. You can buy them Tim Holtz or Indian ink or whatever ink you wanna use, but some sort of alcohol ink. And um, you're gonna need like a tray to catch your junk. Also like a pad or something. I have like a puppy pad underneath in case epoxy goes wherever. You can also have a bigger cup to kind of mesh these two cups with in case you have whatever. But if you only put the right amount, you should be able to marry the two, okay? So, and you're gonna need a stirrer, like a little stirrer. Um, you can use a spoon, a plastic spoon, a wooden spoon, popsicle sticks. Don't use your finger, not even with the glove, because this can get hot. Um, it is not the, you know, it can be dangerous, so don't be, don't get all crazy with it, because it can be kind of dangerous. But you can use a popsicle stick, um, wooden stick, wooden, you know, just whatever. Use something. All right. And I think that's all the things that you're going to need. And patience. You're going to need a lot of patience. Because this takes forever to dry. Like six hours. So it does take a long time to dry. And you're going to need some patience. You also might need um, a heat gun or a blow dryer. But if you have like a heat gun, um, which this is... This, this, this it this is a heat gun and um I, I can't say anything I promise this is a heat gun and if it is a heat gun and you will need this to take out the bubbles or to match the colors or to move the epoxy I can't see I can't do I can't do YouTube lives because I'm gonna lose my shit. All right, or lose my stuff, or lose my whatever it is that you're allowed to say, but I can't. Um, also, if it's your first time doing it, don't wear a good shirt. That's a good, um, <laughs> good, uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't get past the heat gun. <laughs> All right, I'm getting it together. All right, so you also don't want to wear your favorite outfit because um, just look like a hot mess. As long as you look like a hot mess, you're good to go. So, um, man, this is a hard live to do because I can't. Um, all right, so, um, oh, goodness. All right, so you want to mesh your epoxy. So you're going to take one of your epoxies. Oh, this is the hard one that doesn't suck. Okay, so you can't. <laughs> One of them doesn't suck up in a syringe. That's what I mean. It doesn't suck. It doesn't suck up in a syringe. I'm I'm all right. I'm all right. All right. So first, I was measuring it because I'm a rule follower. But a very good friend of mine, DK, she just all willy nilly throws caution to the wind. And so she just pours it all, whatever. Of course, she's been making cups for um, God only knows whatever. Well, I now throw caution to the wind because this one does not suck up into the syringe. So, because it's really thick. Um, so um, I just put a line on the cup and I'm going to pour to the line. And this one is very thick and you want to pour kind of slow. You don't want to pour very fast because you don't want a lot of bubbles. Because bubbles are not your friend. Even if it's Taco Tuesday, bubble is not your friend. Um, so, and this is kind of like the boring part. It's where you're literally kind of like in that watching paint dry station. Um, and you're just kind of like pouring or whatever. So, um, this is the, you know, whatever, um, 
And then this is the one that does suck or that does suck up really well. And then you just pour it to the line and then stop. So you do that. Can you have those baby wipes? So, of course, I did not do what I first told you to do. And none of my friends started to yell, which I was thankful for. And that's put the gloves on. So you want to put the gloves on so that none of your friends yell at you and get all sassy and pissy with you. Because it's important that you um, put your gloves on. So you want to rub her up with me. <laughs> I will try and make it. As me as possible without being as not me as possible. But you know what? There's just some things that just don't don't change. Um, so you want to get all um, all glove. No glove. No love with the um, with the epoxy. So and then you want to like marry the two together. So what the website says is some people just pour one cup into the other. But what I do is I take a separate cup and I just pour them both in together, like I marry them together. I don't know if you can like see that together. I'm trying to move everything so you can see because I don't want to move this because whatever. But you just marry them together because it makes it kind of a little bit more even. Um, Because you really want, you have to make sure it's completely equal parts. If they're not equal parts and it doesn't set right and it doesn't get hard and you know how much of a floppy things are when they don't get hard. I mean, I don't know because, you know, I'm not that pretty. But for those of you straight girls, you know how that is. So, <laughs> just saying. Um, if it doesn't get hard, then your cup's going to suck. So you want to make sure that you have all the right amount and you want to scrape out every little bit, making sure that you get all the epoxy out and you don't have any left over, like no goo left over. You want to get it all out and make sure that you get all the little bits and pieces and nooks and crannies and stuff because you don't want to have any left over. And the same thing with the um, with the runny goo. You want to just make sure you scrape the cup, and um, you know, just make sure that you get it all out. So, ta -da! and then you just put those two together. And you stick your stick in it, and you throw this away. Okay, now this is the key. You then stir it slow like you give it some loving you stir it slow from edge to edge for about two to five minutes now i'm gonna do it for about five minutes but you have to stir it really well and make sure that you get it all like all the edges and everything else but you want to do it slow because you don't want any bubbles so if you want to like sing in your head you know like your favorite song or if you want to, you know, sing sexual healing or whatever with the slow loving, whatever you have to do, Gretchen, um, you just want to make sure that you do it real nice and slow because you don't want to have a lot of bubbles, but you want to stir it until it's clear. Right now, it's kind of like a creamy, milky consistency. <laughs> And that's not the consistency you want. Um, you want to make sure that it's not a creamy, milky consistency. You want to make sure that it's a very clear consistency and that it's equally blended together. So we want to blending is the secret here, Edward. So we're going to just roll it and I'm going to try and look at the comments as I'm blending, but um, it, they, they go away. Like right now, all I see is myself and how much of a hot mess I look like. And then all of a sudden comments pop up like a ghost, like bam, there's comments. YouTube was where I first fell in love with Ashley's videos. Oh, yay. 
What made you do a YouTube live? Somebody um, encouraged me to do it, especially with the cups. So, ta-da! Bazinga zinga, suckers. I'm live with the cups. Um, especially because it can be very easy, but a lot of people are intimidated with it. So, yay. Um, so we're doing, we're doing this. But we're going to go back in our group afterwards. Um, I did find out something today about Tammy. <laughs> which is a fun fact. So right now I'm just stirring and I'm trying not to stir too fast. Um, and I'm trying to make sure that I get... And you want to like every now and then like turn your cup and make sure you get all the stuff around the edges of the cup so that you mix everything. And you want to keep going for about one minute after it starts to turn clear to make sure that you have all of the clear that it's completely like mixed well. And that it's like really good and good and mixed. So I'm just like stirring and making sure that it's good and mixed so that I have all the right consistency. And if you don't have the right consistency on your cup, you'll know. Because when your cup gets done turning, um, you'll it'll be kind of tacky. Like, not tacky ugly, like tacky, like um, still kind of sticky. So you'll know if you didn't use the right consistency. And if that happens, mix another little light coat of epoxy, put another coat of epoxy over it, and then turn it again. That's the easiest way to fix it that I've read and found is just to make it um, make another coat. Another way that I saw was put it out in the sun on the hottest part of the day. Put it out in the uh, put it out. I was <laughs> I was about to say something. Put it out in the sun. Um, and it'll um it'll get it nice and nice and sealed for you. So all right, so I have it all mixed and I think it's mixed fairly well. Um so this is what um I saw somebody say and this is what I also read. So I'm gonna try this. Um rather than using the heat gun, because when you use the heat gun, it kind of activates the ingredients in it a little bit. And, um, uh, again, what I said before is the patients, there are some bubbles in here. There's actually quite a bit. Um, so if you're just patient for a couple minutes, somebody said that if you wait about three to five minutes or about three minutes or so, I'll wait about three minutes and the bubbles will kind of work their way up and pop. And if you just kind of like knock your cup and hit it a little bit, it'll work the bubbles up to the top like it's doing and just kind of be patient and it'll work the bubbles up. So I'm going to do that for a minute and try and be patient or as patient as possible. And then um, we'll see where it goes from there. Um, while it's doing that, I'm going to uncap my inks um, and get those ready. Because as soon as it goes in, the, I can see the bubbles popping. So hopefully they'll pop um, well. And I'm going to do a rainbow cup tonight. Well, because one, I'm a great big old homo and I love stuff in rainbow, obviously. And number two... Um, I love making these rainbow cups. None of them turn out the same. They're all different. Um, I have tons of rainbow quotes. So I'm going to um, make sure that I, I really enjoy doing it. And I pull different shades of colors each time. Even though I really like that color over there. Um, and I pull different shades of colors each time. So every time it's different. And you never know... Um, you know, you never know. It's kind of like a Forrest Gump cup. You never know what you're going to get. So, um, that's kind of fun. So, we'll see. Um, so, we're going to go and get those. I'll try and put them in order according to the color that they're going to go on the cup. Um, without touching them too much around the rim of it because um, some of the inks 
<laughs> some of the inks go through. And like I said, if you're just patient a little bit, um, and if you're just patient and let some of the bubbles out, and then once the bubbles kind of start rising to the top after a couple of minutes, then you can hit it with the heat gun to let the heat gun go and, um, you know, like let the heat gun break up the bubbles or whatever. Um, but other than that, you, I'm just going to try and be a little bit more patient because it's only been one minute. Um, and again, you just like tap the cup a few times and let those bubbles kind of rise. So they'll rise up a little bit, but the more heat you apply to the epoxy, the more, the quicker it gets to set. And of course that's initially what your gut is going to be because you want it to set faster but you really don't want to like blow dry it or anything like that you really just want it to set on its own you want the epoxy to take its natural natural course so please make sure that you're going to um you know um make sure that you're going to do that and um you know do that um and you know all that stuff Oh, that's a funny comment. Am I going to take a break to brush my hair? Nope. I'm having a good time just being a hot mess. I have more important things to do than, um, than, um, brush my hair. That's cute. You're still watching me, though. <laughs> it's precious. <laughs> Can't stay away. My hair looks great. You still watch me. And I do have a bra on. Sure do. Can't stop watching it. I know. It doesn't bother me. They're still watching, so... I mean... If you watch me every day... Whether you like me or not, you're still a fan. Still a fan. Alright, so... I do. I do have a bra on. You can tell because... These big old bad boys are usually a lot further down to my knees, so they're a lot higher up right now because I knew that one of you trolls would be watching, so I figured I'd try and keep the insults at a minimum for you. I knew you'd pick on my hair, but that's an easy target for you, so if that's all you got, you're bringing your weak stuff. All right, so I'm going to move this over a little bit. So you can see what we're really here for. <laughs> and then we're going to keep going on what's really important, which is making this cup. Not my hair. <laughs> Even though my hair really did look super cute today. It's like super fluffy. Kind of looks like a squirrel's tail. It's really cute today. It's just frizzy. Mm. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start turning my cup. And what I've learned is I am I like to turn my cup that way, like toward away from me. So I'm going to turn my cup away from me and get it going that way to where when I turn the epoxy, like turn the cup, the epoxy is going to go that way, but I'm going to pull the epoxy towards me. And while you're turning your epoxy, while you're turning your cup, you're going to like finger in your epoxy. And you're going to finger it in and kind of like rub it down. Like you're going to give your little um, cup of massage. And you're going to like massage it and like give it a little rub down and a little loving. And you're going to like all do that. So you're going to like love on it a little bit and give it some love. Okay. Now, this is the thing that you're going to need to do is. Once you're finished doing that, you're going to want to take those gloves off and get um, your second pair of gloves so that you're going to get your alcohol inks ready because that's what you're going to put into your epoxy. So it's going to go kind of quick after this. You're going to kind of get um, you're going to kind of get that in there really quickly. So once you start putting your epoxy on, you're going to get that um, you're going to get that going pretty quick. Now that my bubbles are kind of a little bit closer to the top, it's been about three or four minutes. I'm going to, um, so I'm going to stop for one second and I'm going to ask this of the people who are actually here for something important. Um, I'm going to ask that everybody just ignore that person. They're obviously from the other 
place and they're obviously just trying for attention. So if we don't recognize them, then they obviously don't get the attention that they need. So just don't pay attention to that person. They obviously can't even um, come under their real name because they're that much of a piece of crap. So literally just not another word to that person. And we're going to keep going. Okay. Thanks. All right. So here we go. Um, so what I said was, we're going to, I'm going to spin the cup towards you. But so when the epoxy starts rolling, I'm going to, um, like start rubbing it, but it's only going to be with one hand because I'm going to have the cup of epoxy in this hand kind of pouring it. Um, and then you're going to have to change your gloves out really quickly and you're going to have to be kind of like strategic with it. Okay. So just be mindful of that. All right. Um, the other thing is what, oh, I'm missing, I am missing one thing, but you know what? I'm just going to use this. Okay. So my plate is a little wonky. So hold on, wait, I think I did it like this. I did. Okay. So I just needed to balance my plate a little bit so that it doesn't catch the cup. And so as long as it doesn't catch the cup, then it can keep going like that. So it's just going to keep going. All right. So I'm going to turn it. See, and it's not turning the right way. So I'm just going to have to. Oh, let me hit this with the heat gun. Just like a little, like a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Okay. And then with that heat, it just like literally just pops those bubbles. Just a little like it pops the bubbles just a little bit. Okay. So now the um, turner is going that way. Okay. So now the turner is going that way. So I'm going to move it a little closer. So that it's, not, oh my gosh, that almost came all over me. <laughs> like literally that would have been awful. Well, it would have been typical. I would have, you know. So, my cup turner's name is Tina. Because Tina's my turner. So, everyone on YouTube world, meet Tina. Tina, meet the world. Tina says, hello. So, ta-da. Hello, everyone. All right. So, I'm going to... Start pouring. Now, this part you might not be able to see because my hand's going to kind of go over it because I'm going to be like hand jobbing it, like giving it a little rub down. So you might not be able to see, okay, that like when I pour, I'm going to try my best to kind of show you. So as it rolls down. I'm just rubbing in. I'm rubbing it in your face. So I'm just like kind of. Say, bro. Um. So I'm just rubbing it, rubbing it. Oh, like, and you want it to be kind of thickish because you want it to like move. Like you want your inks to move, but you want to make sure you get that first, um, like that first coat on there. Okay, and then I'm going to pour right here, and I'm going to make sure, like I try and make sure none drips in that tray, like I don't want to waste a single bit of epoxy. Nuggies in the tub. He is like love and life. Good against the blade in the tub a long time. So 
So I'll make sure that I don't waste any and I'll like rub it. What you doing, Baba? And on the emblem, like if your cup has an emblem, just make sure you put a little bit of extra. Um, just make sure you put a little bit of extra on the emblem. All right. Also, if you don't put it on the bottom, your friends, your closest hundred, will yell at you. So make sure you put it on the bottom so that your friends don't yell at you. Because they'll be like, don't forget the bottom. So you want to like rub it down. Now my cup's completely covered. So now I want to take this and like make sure that it goes a little bit thicker now. So now I want to make sure that it kind of is a little bit thicker because you want the, the ink to move. Okay. And you really want the ink to move really fairly well on the cup. And if you see that there's any like divots or anything like that, you want to make sure that you hit those little spots kind of hard, like to where there's a good little amount. Make sure you get that bottom because that's the part where I always like, you know, miss. I always miss the bottom because that's where everybody's like, do it! Don't forget the bottom! And this time I did the rim. Oh, look, it's dripping. No dripping. Um, and this time I did the rim. So that's the first time I did the rim. So I want to make sure that I get all of the rim part of it. And I think I got it all. Um, DK, if you're on, um, I want to say this is where I do, where I start, right? I think that's good. God, I have a lot of epoxy left over. I feel like I didn't put enough, but. I think I did. Okay. All right. She said I'm good. All right. So I'll take both my gloves off, even though I don't have epoxy um, in this. I um, take both my gloves off to make sure that um, to make sure that I don't have any like epoxy on my hands or whatever. And then I'm gonna start in with my alcohol inks. So all you're gonna do now is. And it's really that simple. I know that a lot of you are afraid of epoxy, but don't be. And you kind of just want to look at, oh, I shouldn't have taken it off. There's like one little spot. Oh, let me just do like this. Jab it. Okay. There was like one little spot and there's no bubbles. Praise the Lord. And if you have any bubbles, you just hit it with a heat gun and you're good to go. Okay. So you're going to want to start like right at the top or wherever you want to start. Um, I know there is some spray paint that's missing if there is. Womp womp. And you just want to hit it and that ink will run. So I'm going to try and like show you your side. Um, I'll try and do it like your direction. So I don't know if you'll... If you can like see it your direction, um, but it should be kind of kind of running off, if that makes sense, like running off fairly well and make it. Stop it. Oh my God. Um, and kind of blend in together. And when I hit it with the heat gun, it's going to blend together even more. So, and you can even kind of put some colors into, um, into each other. 
you can put them up in one another. Um, and they'll even meld together on their own. Um, so I'm sorry. I know this is kind of like where I'm not talking a lot, but I kind of concentrate a little. So if you're commenting, plus the comments go away on this thing. So, and I'm trying to show you both ways. So, um. Um, so I'm trying to go both ways to show you how it's going to, oh, this one's coming out better than the first one. And for those of you who, um, bid on my first cup, the first cup that I ever made went for a thousand bucks and I appreciate everybody for that. It was amazing. Um, so I'm very appreciative for that. All right. This green is so pretty called bottle and it's such a like a raw color green it's like the color of a bottle um it's absolutely beautiful so um and when you get to this like rim like this like um you know like uh the dip in it you want to kind of be conscientious because uh, I remember DK um, saying, like, it's going to run, like, funky weird. So you want to try and, like, stay because it's going to kind of, like, do, like, a weird thing like it just did. So you're going to want to watch it. So, but I'm trying to, like, go both ways with the paint for you. <laughs> go both ways. <laughs> um, I really want to use that pool. Color. I think I am going to grab it. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm trying to grab the color. I really want to use this color. I know I probably. Okay. I really liked this color on the last cup. And so I'm using it on this cup too because it was so pretty. And this is called pool. Oh wait, I need to put bottle right here. Oh wait, I need to wait till it goes towards you. And then you have to like kind of just literally just watch it. Like it goes weird and funky and like see they kind of like blend and get all crazy on their own. So it really just depends on what you like. Ooh, this is a deeper color pool. This is like Caribbean. Hollow, beautiful. Um, so it really just depends on like, it's kind of like a luck of the draw. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's kind of like a luck of the draw. You really, um, it's kind of Forrest Gump. You don't know what you're going to get. You truly don't until it all kind of goes together. Um, this blue is beautiful. Um, and the blues are gorgeous. Like, the, the bottom half of the blues are gorgeous. My problem has been the damn purples. Like, the purples have been the worst. I can't get it dark enough. So I'm going to try it again. But I'm going to try it like... 50 drops of purple to see if I can get it dark enough because oh shit that got dark enough Oof. okay that's dark <laughs> okay that worked that that got dark that got really wow Ooh. but not like thickness um and then what I'm gonna do is hit it with the heat look that same stupid spot 
and then I'm going to hit it with the heat gun to see if it'll like blend it together because the first cup I had I hit it with the heat gun and it went like amazing like all the colors blended and everything went great and then I stopped because I got nervous so um this time I'm not gonna stop I'm gonna just go for it like balls to the wallet I'm going to see how it does. Okay. I'm, I'm afraid I'm over coloring it, but I know that I'm not. But I'm going to go back over it. I can almost hear DK in my head saying stop it. But at the same time, I can not hear her because I'm not listening to her <laughs> so DK is a very good friend of mine she was the original um, person that I finally kind of like listened to the cup conundrum um, she made it look so easy and so concise she was like oh, hey y'all you know look this is my little shit kicking video and she made it look so unbelievably easy um she made it just literally like so easy and so um i tried it i was like well screw it i'm gonna go for it and so i did and i freaking loved it i was like well shit i can do it and so sometimes you always need that one person to kind of give you the leap you know that like gives you the the hope and the leap to jump i need that epoxy right there stop it um and she did she kind of like gave me um that leap you know that like leap to to jump so i was really um thankful that I had that person that gave me that that leap of faith and said, well, look, I can do it. You can do it. And I was able to do it. But I feel like she's screaming at me right now like to stop. But I'm not going to because I feel like this part right here needs a little bit more color. Look, this part here needs a little bit of epoxy. Stop the heat gun is what I'm hearing. Oh, that's what you're hearing? Uh-huh. Is that because she messaged you? Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Like, I, I need a little bit more pool right here, but there's a spot of epoxy that I'm missing right here. Then I'm just going to touch it. Like, I'm barely going to touch it. Right there. And then right there. I must have, like, missed the epoxy altogether right there. Like those two spots. Okay. Um, what color did I say? Pool. Okay. Um. So. And then there's a lot of white right there, but that's because it's gonna be glow. But you're hearing hit it with the heat gun. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish. Um. She would tell me. All right, I think I am going to hit it with the heat gun, but I'm going to do purple one more time. Okay, so I'm going to hit it with the heat gun now because I think, I think I'm putting a little bit too much and I think I'm getting antsy. So I'm going to hit it. Oh, where's DK? Um... Is she still on? Mm -hmm. Okay. DK, you you thinking heat gun? Okay, she's saying heat gun. All right, so now I'm just gonna hit it with the heat gun and um, see what happens. Hopefully, connecting. Okay, I don't know if it reconnected, but I'm just gonna keep going.
Oh, yeah, girl. Look, I moved it. Woo, sassy. Huh? Flash it. I'm flashing it. I'm flashing it, girl. I'm flashing it. Flashing it. I'm flashing everybody. Everybody, you're welcome. Oh, look, it's moving it so well. Okay, I'm stopping. Okay, now I'm going to flip it the other way. Yeah? Okay, so stop and flip it the other way. No, stop and flip it the other way. No, flip it. Stop it, stupid. Okay, there you go. All right, so now it's coming towards me. So now it's, I flipped it. So now I'm making it go the opposite way. So where it's going to come flipping towards me. And this is the part where you literally have to just stop. Except I don't like that piece right there. But I'm going to get over it myself. Okay. This is the part where you just have to stop and walk away. And just be like, I'm good with it. This is what I like. So, you have to just stop and walk away and say, because it's going to do its own thing, and it's going to not look like this in about five minutes anyway, so then you have to do this. Alexa, set the timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, starting now. Thank you, beautiful. And then Alexa is going to set the timer, and then in 45 minutes, you're going to come and you're going to peel the tape off so that the tape isn't epoxy to your cup. Um, and you're going to start with just one end of the tape. And you're going to just let it pull. Um, so you're going to start with the end of the tape. So that's going to be um, fantastic. Um, for those of you whose Alexas that I set also in 45 minutes. Um Maybe say a little prayer for me or think of me or when, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight, whatever you want to do. Um, so whatever, whatever you choose to do. Um, I uh, unfortunately did see some of the garbage that was there and that's exactly what it is. So uh, good thing about it is, is that they're still watching and it still does great for me. So. Oh, dang it, I forgot to show you little baby dinosaurs. Okay, wait, let me, let me shift. Let me shift. I'm making you more little baby dinosaurs. What, baby? You can come see them when you get out of the bathtub. They won't be dry yet. Yeah. Okay, so what you can do is you can, um, yes, my love. What, baby? Okay, my baby. Okay, well, Luke says that I can't do it without him. So I'm going to tell you, but I'm not going to show you. So you're just going to have to know and take it in faith, okay? Here we go. So just know that this is what you're going to do. Ready? All right. Well, I don't need gloves because you're just going to have to see. All right. You're going to take a few drops of alcohol. I'm going to do I'm going to do one to show you. One. Okay, I'm going to do one to show you, okay? Because my bubble wants me to do it. So usually what my boy wants, my boy gets. Um All right. So I should have enough for like two or three, huh? All right, so I'm going to make some little dinosaurs with leftover molds. And, I mean, with leftover epoxy. And what I'm doing is I'm putting alcohol ink in the molds to make colored dinosaurs. Do you have any of the dinos close on hand? Okay. Um, so I'm just, no, you don't have to. Um, so I'm just putting some alcohol ink. And when the epoxy goes in there, it'll spread it out some. Um, so I'm putting there, so I'm only going to do three. 
but I'm going to let him, I'm only going to do, um, I found these molds at, uh, I found them with Gracie. Gracie, do you remember what we, I think we got these at Michael's in the food section. Okay, so you take your leftover epoxy and you just pour it in the mold. And the epoxy will mix the alcohol ink to where it'll make a colored dinosaur. Oh, it's getting hot. He needs to. Hey, Bubby. Can I pour? Can I pour the dinosaurs? Because it's getting kind of hard and Mama doesn't want it to set. Can I pour them? You sure? It's okay? Okay. And then we'll play with the dinosaurs that are already ready when you're done? You sure? Okay, so I'm going to pour the rest because it's getting kind of hot. So once it gets kind of hot, that means it's getting kind of like set up. So you pour into the little molds. I'm going to see if they're working. And then if you want them like two-tone colors, you could put alcohol ink on the top like a different color. Um, I don't think I have enough for a whole one. Uh, maybe I do. Mm, no, I don't. This brontosaurus is going to be a skinny little brontosaurus. Hey, Luke, I'm making you a skinny brontosaurus, Bubba. I wonder if we could find horse molds. Oh, my God. Then we'd have a cub billion molds. A cabillion molds. Literally. We'd have like 5,000. Um, so, and then that's it. Then they just set. And so, um, you leave those overnight. They just sit overnight. Um, and they set real easy. And see the cup where I didn't like is already moving and and turning and stuff, and all the colors are kind of melding together. I love this cup. I like that I added the pool to this cup. I wouldn't have been happy not adding the pool. And now it's really pretty good. I do find that the, the, let me show you, the more epoxy you add, the more the colors move more freely on their own. Um, so the more the colors, it, the more epoxy you add, the more the colors tend to move. Like there was more epoxy here. So the colors are moving because the epoxy is moving. But there wasn't as much epoxy here. So the colors aren't moving as much or melding as much together. Um, but there was a great deal of epoxy here because they're moving together, but there wasn't here. So I guess the more epoxy you use, the more your cup will move. However, the more epoxy you use, the thicker your cup will be. So it just all depends on how you want to, um, the thickness of your cup and, you know, um, how you want your colors to move. Like this kind of looks, ooh, that I mean, that looks really pretty. It, it just, you know, I guess it all depends on, you know, how you want um how you want your cup to look and how you kind of want everything to kind of go i really kind of want to well that has yellow in it so that's a no-go um and even the tray looks pretty after because it has all the different colors um but it really is a beautiful cup i think it's going to be really pretty after um this one i might not put a uh, decal on um but i might because this is a good little base right here for a decal because there's a lot of yellow and orange so um it might not it might be i don't know i do have to put another coat of epoxy because there are some divots and holes but meh it you know i love it so far so good but like i said it's gonna 
mesh and turn and twist and do all those things. But if you're afraid to do epoxy, you can see that you can make a cup literally in under an hour. If you use less colors, you can make it even less than that. If you do less talking and less finagling and, you know, meandering and all that stuff, you can make a cup in less than an hour. You're going to let it dry overnight in 45 minutes. You're going to take the tape off. And so it's really not going to be, um, it's not that hard. I think the hardest thing for people is getting over their fear of epoxy. Um, and epoxy really isn't as scary as it seems. That was my biggest fear. So if it's your fear, um, don't let it be that scary for you. Um, it, it doesn't have to be. It can be very easily manipulated. And you can see you can do little fun things. Obviously, we have probably like 70 little dinosaurs. Um, so, you know, you can make other little things. I've had some people, a good friend of mine, Mandy Kelly, um, made some little puzzle pieces. Um, so, you know, it was really great. Um, the things you can make, some people make um, puzzle pancakes. Um, puzzle pancakes, I'm sorry. I'm distracted by ignorance. I'm sorry. I'm trying to stay focused. <laughs> Took my breath away because I thought they were talking about my boy. Sorry. Almost got a little bit belligerent. Um, I, um, so they, okay, let me get my focus back. I apologize. Um, a good friend of mine, Mandy Kelly, she made, um, some puzzle pieces so you can make little puzzle pieces. Um, Sheila Horn, she's amazing. Um, she made little mermaid, um, tails and little mermaid keychains. Um, she, uh, a couple of other people made some really amazing different molds with glitter and things like that, which I'm not doing glitter. Um, although I did make some dinosaurs with glitter. Um, so cat. Can you grab the little bucket of dinosaurs? Yeah. Let me, I, I do want to show you some of the dinosaurs that, um, that are finished so that you can see. Okay. Um, so that you can see, um, where they are. So give me one second, um, for her to grab them. They should be right there. Um, but so you can do a lot of things with the molds. The molds are like $3 right now. They've got little gummy bears, little teddy bears and all kinds of things. Um, so I did use glitter in the molds, but I pour, poured the glitter directly in the molds. I didn't touch it or anything like that. And I have like a uh, little squeeze box. So, um, well, that's a clear one, but you can see they're really cute. They're little, little glitter triceratops. And if you want the glitter to be a little bit more even, then you would mix it in with the epoxy and then make them. I just put this in the mold and just prayed for the best. <laughs> um, but this is the one with alcohol ink. Sorry. Little blue baby tray tops. tops. Um, this is one with alcohol ink that was on just the bottom of it, but it shows through, through the top. So, and this is a little black glitter brontosaurus. So, I mean, they're really cute. Um, you can order molds online. I did find out from Mandy Kelly, she did say, make sure you um, measure the, um, or see the measurements of the mold, because she ordered a couple of little um, molds, and they came in, and they were like this big. Um, so, but at Michael's right now, I think they have like the teddy bear ones, and whatever, for like three bucks. And I, I don't even remember how much we got these for, um, but Grace and I got these together, so... Um, but they're really cute, and literally we have, look, we're working on a dinosaur collection, girls. Like, it's ridiculous. So, and clearly we have a nightly, nightly dinosaur collection. So, um, see, and it is, see, I wonder if I should turn it again. But anyway, so I thank you so much for joining me on my first live on YouTube. I thank you so much for all of the um, thumbs up in the comments and for your attendance. I thank you for spending an hour of your time with me and for um, 
for just supporting me always. I will post the comments. Um, I'll, I'll post in the comments the affiliate link for Pro Marine and for um, also if you'd like to order a cup turner from Mildred, she is going to be making them and selling them and proceeds from it are going to go to the nursery. So if you'd like a made by Mildred cup turner, we will be making those as well. So thank you so much for everybody. Thank you so much for your support. I know there was a few little want want moments um, and there was a few moments where I couldn't even compose myself um, because of, you know, the, that heat gun gets me every time. So, um, but I thank you so much for all of your love and support. I'm going to try and end this, but I don't know how because it's different from Facebook and I don't know where the button is. So God help us. I hope there's no filters on here because that could be awful um, for me in every sense of the way. So, um, and then once I learn how to use um, YouTube a little bit more effectively and the lives on YouTube a little bit more effectively, we'll be able to get rid of the riffraff a whole lot faster than we were tonight. Um, but I'm going to have to... Um, man, I'm going to have to find where the off button is and it's just, uh, yep, it's just not happening. Um, man, I don't, um, no, man, this just sucks it <laughs> so i guess we're gonna be together for a little while until i get my life to jesus because i know like live forever i'm gonna have to turn off my phone none of these buttons at the bottom i think this turns it around may yeah um forever um i don't know I don't, mm. Okay, maybe I'm frozen on everybody's end. Okay. All right, well, I'm just going to turn off my phone. So, <laughs> y'all have a great night. Be good to everybody. Thanks, y'all.